How are you doing? I have to take a shot. Sheriff's sure, office. I'm not sure how this is okay, just give us okay, just a second. Just, uh, just a second there. Give me a second. Oh, no, call me. I'm going to talk. Mom, no, just talk. Please call me. Just talk. Get a receipt, get the money. You're putting money in the bag. Why are you leaving? Why are you taking it out? You're doing, you're, you're doing the theft. Right. Why are you leaving it behind? On a rainy day in Florida, officers responded to a scheme to defraud involving a Walmart manager who was stealing money from the register located in the money center. This manager was responsible for collecting money from all the registers in the store, counting it, and placing it in the bank vault. He would steal up to $1,000 a day, and this went on for months before anyone caught on. The situation escalated when he came in on his day off just to steal money which drew suspicion from another manager. By then, he had taken close to $90,000. Hey, you manager? You want to call? No, no, I'm okay. manager. Uh, hey, hey, how, how we doing? doing? All right. What's going on, Pete? Yes, sir. Yo, what up? Uh, how you doing, man? You know, another day, brother. Hey. What you got? <laughs> A lot. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Well, I just talked with uh, Paul. Yes, yeah, uh, I believe. Okay, so. and so I think he's going to try. So apparently, originally it came out that he wasn't on scene, and apparently he's, yeah, he's, he's yeah, back there. Yeah, they back. got him. He, they called him, and after they called, he kind of like when he was on the phone, he was like, "Okay, like you know, basically, like, I don't give a, like I, that's what we took it as." Yeah. But is he still here? Yeah, he is. That's yeah. what I'm trying to. I, I, I'm, my mind going so much, I can't even figure uh, out what's going on. Back what was yeah. it that he was stealing? Money, straight cash. He, you know, he had okay. access to the recycler and the cash office. Yeah. CSM. Yeah, I got it. Making cash to uh, advances to his own. <laughs> when the officer arrived, he received a brief summary from Asset Protection to understand exactly what was going on. The officer himself was shocked by how much the employee had been stealing. Yeah, he, he's right up under the camera. <laughs> I hope that he didn't know. I mean, you can't know what's there and just, I mean, the only time you see that kind of stuff is when you high. When you high, you see craziness like that. People be. Yeah, yeah. Put it in that bag. Put it in there. See, he thought he was smart because he would leave out of there with the bag. You'll see him leave out and then go around the corner. So is that is that a, one of y'all's cash deposit bags or is that his personal? Well, yeah, that's cash deposit bag. But he okay. Was using it as his own personal. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that's a legit. legit. Yeah, that's legit. But yeah, that's legit. But but, but that that's a full bag, right? Mm -hmm. And then this this is the empty bag, and he that's the bag empty, and then he's gonna walk up, put it on this table. Because we really just figured this out yesterday. And I'm like, it was making video all day yesterday trying to... Uh, Let me ask you this. So yeah. when you guys actually, for the people that are grabbing drop, right? The people yeah. that are grabbing that stuff. Yeah. What are they... Um, Supposed to be doing with it? Like, I wouldn't imagine y'all's procedure mm -hmm. for that kind of money. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine they would just walk up and they'd be like, all right, I'm going to take a little bit here. I'm going to take a little bit here and put it... In. I would imagine there's some kind of like... Hey, I'm taking twenty grand to drop to whatever they've got some kind of oh, form like a, or a printout. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, even if he were to say I was doing a legitimate thing, that's not y'all's uh, process, correct? Like yeah, you wouldn't uh, just walk in with a bag and just start grabbing shit and putting it in uh, there. No, because the, the money they're taking out of, of that machine, mm -hmm. they're supposed to put it in a register. Like so, if he put it in a bag, okay. the bag's supposed to go um, to a register yeah. so yeah. they he, can put it in there. Using yeah. his numbers, so that's how you do who he yeah. was. So he's putting his numbers in to get into the recycle. So you got to sign in so they can know exactly who's taking the money out of the Okay, side. so that you know, there's several things about this then. Number one, the looking around, the yeah. going in, <laughs> just walking in there and just really nearly grabbing X yeah. amount of whatever yeah. he grabbed yeah. and then on his way out, he can't even say I was taking it to a cashier nah. because you see him drop Start it right, right there on there. the side. Yeah, yeah. So and this this I mean it was about twenty five or thirty different transactions. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So he it's, got it's over a hundred thousand. <laughs> This is auto autos each like this is all in one day, but this is each one that he damn. Made. And um, it, it's honestly, bro, it's, it's, it's well, cool, it's man. over fifty thousand. Yeah, it, it's over fifty thousand, and um, uh, it just didn't think that he was gonna show up because I I still got to do this page. I already oh, started shit. on this one, but I still got to finish up this page. So it's like I don't really. I, 
that's just for January. Yeah, so that's January. So you go back to December, yeah. we still, you know. He's so you <laughs> might find more. Well, how long has he worked here? Two years. Two years. Yeah. You ain't gonna have to go through two years of shit on here. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Honestly, we might not even do. I mean, because I don't know what the, you know, the charges. Like, well, and so it, it depends. So the charges, when especially when you're talking about high levels of fraud, it yeah. depends on the amount. Now, I want to say, and, and don't quote me on this, I want to say if it's over a hundred, mm -hmm. then it's the same charge, just over a hundred oh, grand. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but there's one, for, I think, for fifty to a hundred. There's one from like twenty to fifty. Oh, there's okay. ones from like, oh, I don't know, ten to twenty. I, they're all yeah, they're like yeah, different yeah, yeah, different yeah. stuff. Uh, um, and ob obvious question. You guys want to prosecute, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know it, so you know you have a sergeant yeah. asking you got to see what they want to do. I'm like, oh, they done took 100 G's. I imagine they're going to prosecute. Why would they call us if they didn't want to prosecute? That don't make no sense. Yeah, we, uh, All right. Yeah, she said he's writing a statement, but he's not admitting to the cash advances. But He's writing a statement? Yeah, I don't know what he's what, writing. So what, what's he writing? Yeah, no, because see, it was a girl who got arrested yesterday. Okay. Um, that And he helped her get a money order. Like he signed, like he he signed, like she bought a money order for like, let's say six hundred bucks, but she only paid three hundred for it. Okay. He cleared it to where she get it, so we were short three hundred. Okay. But so I guess he's writing a statement on that, but he's not writing a statement on what I just showed. You. Okay, so two two separate thefts, yeah. the three hundred and then this yeah, one. Plus another, yeah, yeah, another one. He did another hundred. money order for another associate. Yeah, yeah. He so, didn't get, okay. He didn't get but, um, so he's writing a statement based on the money order for her scheme, yeah, not yeah, the actual. Yeah, yeah. Does right. he even know about this? No, I, he, they might have not have said. They they might have asked him about it, and he's just saying he don't know. They, like he didn't have the he don't know. But um, uh, if, I'm pretty sure if somebody show him this, yeah, I, I mean he going yeah. he ain't gonna have a choice. Yeah, that, that'll jog your memory yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm sure being, nah, man, that ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't you, bro. You wearing the same shirt right now. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, we have that too. But yeah, she said she'll uh, let me know when they re uh, ready, but I... Well, so, um, Sarge, like I said, is yeah. trying to get somebody over here. A detective from the Financial Crimes Unit was called to review all the evidence against the employee. They navigated through security footage and documents, pinpointing each theft. Yeah, we, yeah, we been able to go okay, and January is what is the total number uh, that you guys are up to? Uh, I know you're still verifying with videos, but what's yeah. the total number? Um, and I know Matt's probably going to ask this, but yeah. every time he takes money out of that ATM, mm -hmm. is he typing in his like employee code so that it will yeah. show he's the one that withdrew and, that money. Yeah. If, you, if you notice, once he gets the money right here, mm -hmm. the receipt prints out or whatever, so he's putting the receipt in there with the bag. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, I just, yeah. I, what I was making sure is I know that you have a, a loss well, yeah, thing yeah, on yeah, it, yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure what we're charging him, it's it's his ID yeah, that's exactly. pulling out yeah, that money. It, okay. It, when it comes up, it comes up uh, Alexander Washington. Yeah, gotcha. on one bag. Yeah, one bag. And how much was the total? Oh, uh, well, he's gonna uh, oh, yeah. put up the. Uh, yeah. And he did this it was last night, so, or this morning actually, right? So well, it was thirty first after midnight. It was uh on the twenty twenty eighth after um yeah. So this is what you're doing for the rest of the day is talking on your videos, uh, ain't you? And tomorrow, uh, checking out December. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have to look forward to, don't you? Man. How long do you think they're going to make you go back? Probably till you stop finding more. Thing, if, it's, if, it's, if you yeah. find more involving her, yeah. call TPD on. Oh, just yeah, yeah, go yeah. with their case. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll rack them up on there. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know how, but here's the kicker. All I'm going to be able to do is just charge for each one of those times that he plunked it in. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he has no idea we're here. No. Nah. He thinks he's talking about the girl from yesterday, the young lady from yesterday. He might no, he said he didn't they asked him about the these transactions, but he said he said he's not admitting to it. What time is that? Uh well See, the timing is off on it, so if we don't, like, wait, oh, wait, oh it's, 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 it
five minute difference. Is it off and consistent with the other cameras being off? Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. It's as off. long as I, they can be off, as uh, long as they're we all. Have, we off. have another one. No, we have another one that coincides. I mean, with this that's that's on though. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the only one that's off uh, down this little hour right here. After about an hour of collecting information and watching footage, the employee was seen on camera attempting to leave the store. Officers then waited for him at the door. Put your hands together like a prayer, brother. Be the most comfortable. Trying to get out of the funnel there. That's fine. I'm to take a shot, sheriff's office. My name's Crime Jr. You have any idea what's going on? No, yeah, well, they just talked about. They just talked to me about some incidents, and I told him everything that I knew. The end could remember it, and then other than that, you know. Okay. Well, I, fi I figured y'all would be here when they called me and talked. Okay. I know she's a high though. Well, I'm not entirely sure about that part because, like I said, I just got here myself. I'm still working on it. It's actually even quicker than I thought. Um, before we get going on it, I'm going to read you some information as you are right now today, okay? okay. I'm going to read you the notes. So, bear with me. I got you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can only just get you to court of law. You have the right to have a lawyer. This is his mom right here. Okay, just give us a second. Just 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 give me a second. Tell us what you do. You have the right to talk to a lawyer this time and have a lawyer present if you have any questions. First of all, you're not a juvenile, right? No, I'm you. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for any question if you wish. If you decide any time to exercise these rights and I ask you questions, so make any serious. Do you understand these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes, sir. These rights are mine. Do you wish to speak with me now? Can I speak with my mom? Please. What, what, what do you need to speak with your mom about? I just want to tell you to call my grandma and I'll stop you. Who's run to the burger? Have a mom slip in here real quick. Mom. I know. Just call me and go. Just call me and go, please. Call Nanny and go. Please. Mom. Oh, please. Mom. Oh, no. Call Nanny and go. I need you. I'm going to talk. Mom. Mom. Just call. Please call me. Just call me. Alex. I need you to tell me what's going on. I don't, I don't know. No. Before we get in there, just, just call. Please just call me. I'm not trying to be rude, but he is an adult. I'm just, I, I'm extending the rules. Mom. I'm going to let you know what's going on. I don't. Okay, but there's some, before he starts going off there, just call me and go. Let him speak. I'm going to get done with it. Yes, ma'am. I mean, uh, yeah. Like I said, he's not about to come. After about 10 minutes with the mommy, the officer got down to the nitty gritty to figure out exactly how this manager managed to steal $90,000. Hi, there you are. It's still 12.37 a.m. So that's that room is what? That's that's where you just left, right? That's the uh, cash office. Cash office where the money recycler is. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So I don't know where you are because you're over here, out the side of the camera, right? Yeah, because you walked over there. There you are. See? Hey, how you doing, man? And then where are you going there? You walked out of the uh, the view from there. What's over that way? So check out. Okay, no, the first way you went, because you went that way, then you come out that way. Returns. Okay, so it's returns, all right. So, now this is the customer service returns area, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you remember what you're doing at this point right here? 
But you're outside the view of the one camera. I don't remember any of this thing, but... Okay, there you go. What was that you just put right there? I can't see that. Alright, can you rewind that, please? Okay, see so that right now, there isn't anything on it, right? There's nothing. Just this black thing. Boom. You put something down, it's like white or gray. What is that that you put down right there on the counter? Looks like a money bag. Okay, it looks like it, it looks like money bag to me too. I'll just confirm. Okay, so now where are you going? Self checkout. Okay, you're going to self checkout. Yeah. So it looks like. Why? What are you gonna do to self checkout? Why are you going to self checkout? Stop the conceal. Where's the money? Okay. I, to be honest, if I want to take money from Walmart, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm clarifying. Like I, said, know, I just no, got I, here. I, like so, like this is my thing, right? If, uh -huh. I can obviously see the evidence showing where I've done the cash advances and stuff. Why are you doing this like you are? I'm you. basically at this point how I'm feeling is if I would have stole that money, I would not. If I was stole money from Walmart, I wouldn't have came back several other times. I got you. If, if it was me, I would take the money. To be honest, what smart criminal is going to come back and keep hitting up the same place well, when they know they have a team of people that? That's gonna that can that can obviously get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. I'm way smarter than that. If I'm I was if I was gonna steal from Walmart and steal money, I'm gonna take it all in one chunk and then walk out. The one thing, that, and like I said, I'm just learning about this. I haven't been as long here as long as he's. Yeah, I know. The thing I'm confused about is, we know you put the money in receipts in that little gray money bag, right? Mm -hmm. We know you get that on camera, right? Okay, all right, fine. You get that on camera, if you maybe pick your nose, maybe do something. I don't know. You come back out, and you throw the money bag on the table. Well, one of two things would just happen. The money's still in the money bag, in which case you left $9,000 worth of money sitting on a counter for anybody to steal. Or the time that you're in the video, or you're outside the video's view, you take $9,000, put it in your pocket, and then throw the money bag on the counter. And then what happens? Because either you put the $9,000 in your pocket to go give to so, uh, self-checkout, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, hey, the bag was too heavy. Here's nine thousand dollars. I'm gonna give it to you to put in the machine. Which I, because normally if I'm giving money to a machine, I'm gonna take the money bag with the machine. I'm gonna say, okay, here's your money. Here's your money. Here's your money. I'm just trying to find out what happened. So then you walk out of the view of the camera, right? You walk off down. We saw you walking down the little hallway, or right in front of the store. It's not a hallway. It's right in front of the store, right? I mean, I'm, I mean, is that right? I'm just I'm curious because I'm not familiar with this store. I'm not an I don't ever come here. I don't live on this side of town. I don't shop here. Uh, if you told me land yet, I'd, I'd be able to know where you're going. But, um, for instance, what is this looking at right now? Self-checkout. That's self-checkout. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where you're taking the money to self-checkout. Okay. So where's the money at this point? I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally asking because I see you. You're clearly at self checkout. Right. Are you handing, are you handing the cats at self checkout I, money? No. And you're not handing the bag because we don't have any money on me. Like I said, I, if I would have taken that money, I would not have stayed in the store. What? I would not, I would not still be on camera. I, I was literally, I remember that night. I was there for a while with her. I got you. But like I said, if I still, if I was stealing that money, I would not have stayed in the store as long as I did. Well, how, how many times? And I'm not going to even slightly tell just by asking. I know it's not standard procedure to throw $9,000 onto a counter. Right. Because right? that's just, that's crazy. And then what's even crazier is nobody goes by and takes that $9,000 out of the bag. That's even crazier. But the bag is empty. And again, you're still there, still in the store. See, that's, again, not sound like smart ass. That's problem to cause. Right. So what I'm trying to figure out is I'm trying to give you the bit of the doubts. And then the other thing that, you know, that I find interesting. I know you're saying you don't understand, understand or you don't recall the situation. No. I got that, okay, because, you know, it, stuff happens. I got you. Know, like, I don't remember what I do sometimes, too. You know? I mean, it's easier. Yeah, at this point, whatever I can do to not have to have a record on my, on my thing inside your job, I'm willing to do it. It's really about to own. I don't remember taking anything. I don't remember. I really don't remember the situation. Okay. This specific situation, seeing it, yes, I was here that night. I okay. remember that night. 
other than that, he said it's been multiple occasions. I don't remember well, I, that. Well, I'm not worried about multiple occasions right now. I'm not. I'm worried about this incident because if you're going to be a teacher, it's, a, it's an admirable profession. Right. But they need teachers who are going to be honest. Right. And I'm being honest. If you want to do that, okay. We've got you on here. Here's the thing. What's it look like? Society, judges, juries, everything else understand lacks of poor judgment. They understand that. Right. Because people, how old are you? 22. 22. You're 22. Okay, so you're an adult, but just barely. Um, what do you think a reasonable person would think? Do they think it sounds, if they see this, and they hear you, and they can see what goes on. But yet they hear you continue to say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I don't recall doing it, blah, blah, blah. Do you think they, they like that, or is it more like, they're like, well, he, he, he made it to you, he made a mistake, let's move on. Uh, that's that's all I'm curious about. That's what I look at. Is it is it is he falling in a sword because he's truly repetitive? I don't think you're a dying the wool criminal by any stretch of imagination. I don't think you're cold calculating anything like that. I think it was a, an opportunity to see some some easy money. I mean, it's besides Walmart's a big company. So they do nine thousand dollars like that, obviously, because there's at least nine thousand dollars in the drawer, right? They're probably insured, so they're probably going to get the money back from the bank. And it almost sounds like it's like a victimless for the black part, because you know, it's a big company, they bought a billion dollar company. What the hell is $9,000 here? Right, there's no such thing as a victim. What's that? So there's no such thing as a victim. Yeah, no, no, there's not. There's always a victim, but it's for lack of a better term, but I'm just saying. Something that they won't care about. Right, let's not say, well, why would you leave the money back there? Right after the detective explained to the suspect that his story didn't make any sense because he was seen on camera stealing thousands of dollars, yet he was denying it, the suspect decided to ask for a lawyer. However, while en route to the jail, he decided to confess to everything. Hey, I'm here. Hey. <clears throat> Sorry, thank you. It's been a little while to drive back. What is this all about? It says, I've been advised of my rights. I understand what my rights are. I'm willing to make a statement and answer any questions. I understand and know what I'm doing. No promises or threats have been made against me, and uh, no pressure or coercion. coercion of any kind has been used against me. It's just, I didn't beat it out of you, <laughs> facing this thing. Yeah. Cool. If that's true, then you just go ahead and sign there. If I, if I, I've never been arrested. Well, it's cool. Yeah, if, I, if I sign this and I choose like, to not want to talk anymore. I yeah, this, ha this, is, this isn't saying you're saying that you're admitting to anything. This is saying that I've read you these and All you right. understand your rights. I was telling the deputy that brought me here. I used to be a police cadet, but... I've never, like, seen this part of anything. Uh, it's different. All right. That's all I have to say. That's not a mission or anything. All right. Now, like I said, we're under, you're still under your Miranda rights, but since we're up here, are you still wishing to speak with me? Get some things squared away here. Okay. okay? All right. Is that a yes? Yes. All right. All right. At the story, we were talking about how uh, you, when you're out of the camera site, since you saw it, um, you said you went behind that little area, which is the returns area, right? Mm -hmm. Which is where all the, the money and stuff, or not money, but where all the return crap and stuff like that is. Um, all right, so you're saying that's where you left the money. It was in that little area. I see. Okay. What's going on right now is using that same exact camera from the same exact area, reviewing the entire footage, see if anybody else goes back there. Who else would need to go back there? And why? Um, anybody can go back there. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes the associates go back there to put returns up because we tell them don't bring it to us because we're done separating. Gotcha. Or sometimes okay. people just like, people that work there just like, no, like, that if they need to drop a return, then I'll think they're going to do that. Because the, the law's profession lady says that, that Sue, she says that um, there's like nothing for anybody to use back there, no reason for them to go back there, especially at that time of night because they're not doing returns. Um, is that correct? No, she doesn't work overnight. That's just what she's told. But no, their management's told one thing, and we'll, we'll see. Different. Anybody goes back there. All right. So you, were, where when you were in the back did you put the money? 
in between the totes that say checkouts. Putting money in between the bags. <coughs> okay, then you said you went out front to go talk to DJ. Mm -hmm. Who is DJ? Uh, he's an overnight associate. What's DJ stand for? Uh, I'm not sure his real name. He wasn't one of my associates. What did you need to go talk to him about? We were just chatting. We we just chat sometimes. But you weren't scheduled to work that night. There's a lot of nights I'm not scheduled to work and I come in and help. How long were you there that night? Um, when I got off the phone with Katil and told her I'd come up there with her for a bit, I want to stay with me like 11, around 11.30, 45. I was still at home. No, I'm saying, but how long were you at the um, store? Because you came in at 12.30. Um, hey, um, trying, I don't remember honestly what time I left. I know I was there for for a while, for a while. I think I left when she was going to go to lunch, and I was like maybe around like three or four. I, I know I was there for a while. I honestly don't remember how long I was there. But I do know it was I was there for a while. There. The footage that were <laughs> all the footage like say everything's obviously recorded. Mm -hmm. What time does it sound when you leaving? What time, do what? what time does it show you leaving? The store? What's going on? Time. Uh, I didn't see that footage. The only one I saw I was the one. Seen that footage. The only yeah. one I saw was one me leaving with DJ. I go outside and I came back inside. Okay. All right. Now, like we said, that part we've got that part. That part's over and done with the theft. Okay. That's, that's nine thousand dollars is grand theft in the state of Florida. It's okay. a felony, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, it is. All right, so this is the end of the theft, all right? So we got that. So I'm being charged with that. You're going to be charged with grand theft, yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going to look over some stuff and see what else, you know, just to make sure I'm not trying to make your life miserable through everything. Right, yeah, I know you're doing your job. Yeah. Um, now, we have some other issues. Okay. And you know what I'm talking about, right? The money, the rest of the money for the month. Going back to um, going, off, going back to at least January 10th. Let me ask you this: How many times have you done this? And remember, it's people want to see remorse. People, I don't think you're a bad. I think it's just it was easy. It was just it's easy. It's very. Easy. Um, how long have you been doing this, buddy? Bear in mind, everything you just saw, everything, that is on camera for months. Same footage. The only difference is at the bottom of the thing, the date and time. Are going to be different. You're, you're doing the theft. Right. Why are you leaving it behind? There. Are some people who know about that, and I will leave it behind the service desk. Yeah. So it's a pigeon drop for somebody else. You're taking the money for them and leaving it for them. Why? Why aren't they taking it themselves? Because they don't have access to it. When you mean by access? But they don't have a handprint. Because I mean, we can let. Anybody in the CEO, as long as they work for Walmart, but not everybody has a handprint to take money out of the recycler. So you have to use a handprint, like an actual. Where does the handprint go to? Um, it's on top. It's on top of the recycler. It's like the palm scanner. Okay, so when you got they hired you, they they did you like a little palm scanner. When I them. when I came, when I moved up front and we went to my centers when I got. A okay. Palm, uh, so palm they print. have that. So that handprint is yours. Nobody else can use. Favorite. So that's your time stamp. Let's put those back to the side. In this particular incident, who are you taking that money for? I honestly cannot tell you who I took it for. I can tell you that I did tell DJ and another person about about how about that specific way to get money from Walmart and. This particular incident, this one that we watched you on the video do it. Mm -hmm. When you put the money out there, can you, who did you put that for that night specifically? What would have prompted you to tell somebody that money was back there? 
I mean, because I know that some of them need extra help as far as like they're paying their bills and stuff. Okay. And they're not getting the hours from Walmart. They're not getting what? They're not getting, they weren't getting their hours from Walmart. So they're not getting the, money, the hours from Walmart. They need the money. Did they ask you to come up with this system? How is this system hatched? How, who, who's the mastermind behind it? Honestly, might. How would they know about it unless they have, unless they're privy to the the way you log into the system and everything? Is this something that you told them? Well, they already knew that only certain people can log in, put their handprint in the recycler. Um, but there, we have. I have had discussions with other associates on numerous occasions on how to basically steal from Walmart without getting all or like raising red flags. What are you What are you getting from it? Nothing. You don't get. You're not getting a kickback. You're not getting a percentage. No, I mean I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the type of person. If if I I know I shouldn't have, like that. That shouldn't have been the way I helped somebody out, but. If I want to, if I don't, my guy, I never really, I never asked for anything. So it's kind of like, and again, I'm not trying to be a smart, so it's kind of like modern day Robin Hood. You're digging for the rich to help the poor, but you're not getting nothing. Yeah. Okay. What I'm, what I'm kind of interested in is because, you know, that was $9,000 this time. And they're, they're out roughly 50, 50 large, so $50,000. How many more incidents are there going to be like you on this video, which is like the different time stamp though? How many how many times have you done this? How long has this been going on? Because they've already arrested, they arrest, TBD is working that part. They arrested Kesia? Kaisha. Kaisha. Mm -hmm. Kaisha Duke. They got some stuff with her. I guess they're just kind of spreading the love around, you know, as far as who's getting it. So they're working that part. What's she going to say? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. You know. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I knew she was arrested, so when they called me, I figured it had something to do with with that situation. Okay, so I was so pretty sure. I was pretty sure I was going down for something. I just didn't know what. But you knew the gig was up. I, yeah, I knew. I knew. I knew I was going down for something. Yeah, we were like a bad no, we're wrong. Yeah, we're just good. It's, it's good because you're just coming clean. We get it. I just, I just got a bad Um. All right. So we're cool. We we got it. So you're you're kind of doing, and you didn't get anything. In return for the ones that you did for the people either, so it's still straight up old school Robin Hood like. I had to, yeah, I had to advantage to be able to do it, and they benefited from it. So, and that's where that's where and CSM is what gave you access to the recycler. Um, Money Center cashier mm -hmm. is what gave me originally what gave me access to the recycler. I had, the CSM position gave me access to having keys to get in and out the door that happens might let me in, but the being a cashier just in general you have access to the <coughs> recycler. Okay, so what was your title when you were, like, last, or the 28th when you were doing this? Customer service manager. That's what you were? Mm-hmm. All right, so who, that's what you had to do to have your hand to get into the, the money till? Mm-hmm. Hamper? Okay. That's what you have to have to be able to do a cash advance. Everybody can't do a cash advance. Okay. Give me a second. Let me get some more. Uh, you need anything? No, thank you. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Just knock on the door if you need something. Okay. The suspect was charged with grand theft in order to pay back $86,543. He was given 10 years of probation, but later violated his probation for failing to make restitution payments. Write a comment below. Let us know what you think.